YouTube, what's up? Do I got a good story for you guys today? I was watching a video of my, my man Jamil Peterson, Mr. I Am Comedy. Um, and he was talking about Cynthia G. And how she doesn't like black dudes. Like she won't date black dudes or some shit. Um, so I'm like, okay, that explains to me why she let me take her on a date. So I was messaging her on her in her in her on her comments and her and stuff like that on her videos and shit. And uh for a good probably week and a half, two weeks, and just to see if I could get anywhere she would answer me back, but she would never comment back. A couple days after I sent the last message, I just was like, What's up, Miss Pretty? Yeah, I've been hollering at you, you don't ever I don't know if you don't see it or whatever, but um, she hit my email up and she messaged me and said that um, she's seen that I've been commenting on her stuff quite a bit um, and that she liked my, you know, the way I keep trying and trying and trying, you know what I mean? So I'm like, sweet, you know what I mean? It's like, she's kind of fly. She seems cool. So maybe about a week after that, we start talking, you know, through email. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I asked her out. You know, man, can I take you to dinner? And she was like, yeah, you could you could take me to dinner. Um, so maybe two weeks after that, because she said she had to get time because she was busy. Um, so maybe two weeks after that, um, so we went, we went out to get something to eat. So I pull up, we get in the car, she gets in the car, you know, she's looking okay. You know, not as good as what I thought, but uh, she was looking okay. I mean, it's too late now. I mean, what am I going to say now if I if I really didn't like her off the, off the rip? I mean, whatever. I'm just going to deal with it. So, I'm asking her where she wants to go. You know what I mean? And I don't even remember. This is a few months ago. I don't even remember the name of the restaurant. But I'm thinking, okay, maybe we're going to go to, like, Popeye's Chicken. Or we're going to go to, like, maybe uh, um, Outback or some shit. I'm not no famous YouTuber. You know, I got money, but I ain't, I'm not balling. And I, it was a weird Italian place that she wanted to go to. Um, and she said the name of it. And I'm like, oh, I never heard of that. And she was like, yeah, she's like, it's a good spot to eat. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking, okay, me, meals, maybe $10, 15 $20. So we get here. As soon as I get there, man, this place is fancy as fuck. I'm like, shit, I'm thinking, like, I wanted to take this girl to McDonald's, like, maybe Burger King. Uh, so, people are in there, they're all dressed up all nice and shit. I, look, I got on this type of shit. I'm like, um, I don't think I'm dressed appropriate for this kind of establishment. She, oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I walk in there, people are staring at me, like, I'm some hood booger or some shit. I'm like, oh shit. And it's it's funny because she was the only black girl in there. And I'm thinking, I remembered Jim Mill's video of her say, or him saying that she really don't like black men. So I'm like, that's crazy. Like, because we're in here and we're like, she's the only black girl in here. Now, I don't know if they're looking at her or they're fucking staring at me because of the way I'm dressed. Are they looking at her because she's black and everybody in there is white? Or is it because I'm dressed like this? You know? It has nothing to do with race. I'm The reason why I'm saying her because she's black is because she said she don't like black men. And when we went there, it was all white people. So, I'm like, oh, what a coincidence. So, um, we sit down and I'm open. The waiter comes over and she gets a water with lemon. Um, I get the same thing. So, I'm like, cool. This is starting off good. Maybe she's going to get something off the, like, dollar menu or something if they have one. Um, so, we open it up. And I'm looking down. I'm seeing fucking food that I've never even seen before. Like, the pronunciation of these words, I couldn't even fucking say it. Like, I didn't understand anything. I didn't have, like, the description of, like, what the shit was. So I'm like, holy fuck. And I'm looking and it's saying, like, $60 for, like, some shit. I don't even know what the fuck it is. So I'm, I don't even, I don't want to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Mind if I don't like the shit. I just spent $60. So, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, if she thinks I'm I'm, I'm cheap, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. I'm a cheap motherfucker. Like, we could have went to McDonald's. I could have got you a McChicken. 
um, a, a McFry, and if you're lucky, maybe a plain Sunday, not one with nuts, not caramel, they're, they're like a dollar or something. I was trying to stick to the dollar. Like, I didn't want to spend no more than like 15 bucks, 20 bucks on her. So I'm looking, the dish is $60. I think the cheapest one I seen was like $34.99, which wasn't bad, but I think it was like soup or some shit. I'm like, $34.99 for some fucking soup? Shit, I can go to the store and get some fucking chicken noodle soup for a fucking couple bucks. So I'm like, okay, um, I'm looking for the cheapest shit. So I'm like, just give me the fucking soup. It was like, I don't know what was in it. It was like broth and fucking, it came with like a piece of bread. And I'm like, okay, well, I, I'll eat this. And it, I mean, it wasn't a real big portion. It was like a yay big, so deep. I mean, for thirty four ninety nine, I'm thinking I'm getting a whole motherfucking pan. You know what I mean? So she orders her food. And I don't, I don't know what the fuck her, her shit came in like, she got like, it wasn't spaghetti, or it was like some Italian, um, pasta that I'd never even fucking seen before, and this shit was like 72 bucks, I'm like, holy fuck, I'm like, are you gonna take like, don't leave that shit here, like, you better eat all that shit, and she was like, oh, it's not, it's not even that big, I come here, you know, every once in a while. So she orders it. So we're talking. We're waiting for her food. And like the first thing I notice is her motherfucking eyebrows. Like I'm just staring at them motherfuckers like holy shit. They don't even match. Them motherfuckers were like cousins. Like they weren't even fucking sisters. Like they weren't twin sisters or nothing. They are motherfucking cousins. Like one up here. One hanging a little bit lower than the other one. And the edge was off a little bit where you could like. Okay, you must have, like, misstenciled your shit or some shit because that shit like it got a point right in the corner. But I didn't say nothing to shit. I was letting that shit rob, but I was trying to hold it in not to laugh. But the whole time, like, she is talking about, like, black men. Black, why she don't like black guys? Black guys this, black guy that, black guy this, black guy that. And I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be good for me for, like, the first two minutes they're talking about it. Oh, I'm a white guy. You don't like black dudes? I ain't got to worry about them now. So that's, they're out of the way. So I ain't got to leave, you know, worry about you taking off for me to go with them. You know what I mean? So I'm like, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm in here. I just got to worry about the white, the Mexican, the Chinese, Puerto Ricans. Like, I'm good. That's a whole fucking shit ton of people I ain't got to worry about. So we're just talking to shit and like, man, like the shit she was saying about black people, man, it was crazy. Like she thinks all black men are the same. And I'm thinking, like, bitch, like, most of my friends are black. Mm, the dudes that I know ain't like that. Like, she's saying how, like, all they do is cheat and they smell. I'm like, what? Like, okay, maybe if you're sweating, you might smell a little bit, but that's everybody. So we're, we're just talking and she's just on and on and on about that. That's all we really fucking talked about was... Black dudes, black dudes, black dudes. Like, can we talk about something else? Can we talk about, like, power or, like, motherfucking the new Halloween movie or some shit that's coming out in a couple months? Like, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about, like, maybe after this, I'm not taking you for fucking dessert. You ain't even getting no motherfucking dessert. All the expensive that motherfucker was, right? That, that, that pasta you got? Shit. I'm not paying. I'm not paying no more. Like you just got your dinner for this date, the next date, and the date after that. If it came to that, I'm not buying you nothing else. You ain't getting shit from me, lady. No fucking way. Seventy two dollars for a motherfucking plate of motherfucking whatever the fuck it was, some sort of pasta. So I'm the waiter comes, drops our stuff off. We're eating and eating and eating. The way she eats, like chew with your motherfucking mouth closed. Like, the bitch was so loud, chewing. I'm thinking, holy fuck. Like, they could hear her, like, all the way across the fucking room. Like, your lips ain't that big. And the way she, like, huffed it down, like normal people. Look, I got food right here. You know what I mean? Some potatoes and gravy, or, uh, hamburger gravy and stuff. Like, you don't know people. Mmm. You know, good. This bitch is holding her... Holding her shit like this. Hold on. No, we hold our forks like this. This bitch is holding her shit like this. Boom. 
Hoom. Hmm. Hoom. Sauce dripping on her shit. I'm like, yo. Like, she's a whole fucking mess. I'm like, you need a bib? I'm like, why you gotta be rude? I'm not being rude, but you're you're guzzling shit like a motherfucking... I don't even know what you wanna call it. Like a, um... One of those things that pick up fucking dirt. I don't fucking know what you call it. She's like grabbing and shit like that. Stuffing it. Boom. Dripping down her shirt. Boom. Talking with her mouth full. Boom. Boom. Mm. 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 The fucking black man. Mm. 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 Yo. Put it in my pocket. Um. And like when she was done, like I'm trying to hand her a napkin. Like, yep. Hey. Put this. You know, right here, you might want to, you know, go to the bathroom, freshen yourself up a little bit. Sauce all over her fucking face. Dripping off her chin. Like, I'm thinking, okay, if someone's going to drip off your chin, this shit better be white. Like, you got sauce dripping off your fucking chin in a motherfucking restaurant where everybody's dressed all nice and shit. I'm dressed like this. She's the only black girl in here. And I don't know if they're staring at me because I'm dressed like this or staring at her because she's black. I have no idea. They're just fucking looking at us. When she's talking, she talk loud. Like, I people behind her, shh, shh, shh. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. So she's eating. So, uh, where you wanna go? Where you wanna go today? You wanna go and play Mr. Golf? You wanna go watch a movie? Um, no, bitch. I want to drop you off at home. I don't even want the pussy. No more. I don't want the pussy no more. I thought I did. Not after that. That bitch is a mess. She is reckless. Food all her fucking shirt. And she was pretty nice. Dressed nice. Kind of. Food. Sauce. Food. Whatever. Didn't give a fuck. Sauce dripping off the fucking chin. It's on the fucking side of her face. And her fucking weave. Like, bitch, you need to go home and get a fucking fucking shower. That date went left real quick. Like, I've never been on a date like that before. It's insane. But if you have a chance to date Cynthia, do not. She's expensive. You got a million followers on whatever, how many followers. I don't even know how many followers you got, but I know you got some shit because you get paid off YouTube. But you could have paid for my motherfucking dinner. I pulled out my food stamp card tried to pay for it. It didn't work. They don't accept food stamps, sir. Well, I should have knew that. Look at the place. But I tried. You know, maybe they thought it was a credit card. I don't fucking know. But I tried it. It didn't work. I didn't let her see that shit, though. Fuck that. The way she was? Shit. Shit. You got all this money. Why you pay for my motherfucking dinner? How about that? I just want to take you to McDonald's. Burger King. Popeyes, Wendy's, somewhere, KFC, somewhere, nope, she wants to go to this fucking place, I'm gonna have to look it up and try to remember what the name of that was, don't ever take her on a date, she's gonna take you to the most expensive fucking place, and if you don't have money like that, don't do it, I want damn near broke when I'm fucking taking her on a date, just from dinner, we didn't get to do nothing else, I dropped her off right at home. I'm, nah, bitch, you ain't getting no more of my money. You fucking hold the shit out of me. You pimp me. That's what that was. And even if you offered me the pussy, I wasn't giving it. I wasn't giving you no dick. Fuck that. You a sloppy motherfucker. Go keep, keep it moving. You got a sister? Shit. I'll take your sister. Let me see. Maybe she's something, you know, a little more appropriate to take on a date. Maybe she's cheaper than you are. Like, I want to take you. If I take you shopping, I'm taking you to the dollar store. That's where I want to take you, to the dollar store. I don't want to take you to motherfucking um, Dolce Cabana. I don't want to take you to Gucci. I don't want to take you to none of that place. I'll get you a motherfucking, I'll get you a necklace out of the little fucking, them little toy things that you put the quarter in or the dollar in and you, the arm goes down and grabs the shit out. I'll get you one of those. I'll put a quarter in one of them slots at the grocery store, turn a little fucking dime and get you a fucking ring that way. I ain't fucking, mm -mm. you got me fucked up. I'm going to buy my money. Like, I'll go broke fucking with you. And then what happens when, when I go broke? Then what? You going to push me out on the street? I don't fucking think so. Shit. 
But yo, if you get a chance to date Cynthia G, do not fucking do it. Don't take her on a date. Leave that shit alone. Leave it alone. She will, your pockets will be fucking flat. Straight flat. But yo, I wanted to share that story. Do not do it, fellas. Do not do it. Ladies, do not, I don't know. Maybe ladies, you might, I don't know. You might get treated. Not us fellas. Fuck no. Maybe she treated me like, maybe she was treating me like she treats, you know, her own kind. Like, what the fuck? I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it at all, but that was a bad date. Bad date. All she wants to do is talk about, you know, black men this and black men that and then stuff her face and eat and shit dripping all over the place. Like, no, bitch. No. You got people looking at us like we, we fucking cannibals. Like, we got our stimulus check. And that's the only reason why we came there to eat. Because we don't, we didn't belong in that motherfucker. I definitely didn't belong in there. Hell no. You should have warned me. Yo, you need to dress up nice. No, I'm wearing I'm wearing this. How could I? I'm at. To us, this shit's look up okay. It's all right looking. To them motherfuckers? Mm-mm. They're like people that play golf. Like you can tell they're golfers. Fucking real estate fucking agents. Brokers. Like there were some high-end rolling motherfuckers. And no, I'm good. Don't date Cynthia G. Fuck that.